Fear is a normal reaction in response to a danger or threat. But, excessive fear without real danger. It is panic attack. First, there is the sudden onset of fear with little provoking stimulus. This stimulus can be simple life event. For example drinking coffee and intaking caffeine. Social events, for example large group of people or lots of noise. Arguments, conflict or any kind of stress. This leads to a release of hormone adrenaline, which brings about the fight or flight response when the body prepares for strenuous physical activity. For fight or flight. But instead of running or fighting we getting physical symptoms, increased heart rate, tachycardia, rapid breathing, hyperventilation, which may be perceived as shortness of breath, dyspnea, and sweating. Panic attacks have physical symptoms. The person feels his own heartbeat, feeling of rapid fluttering in the chest, called palpitations. Chest pain or chest discomfort. Trembling, dizziness, numbness and confusion. Feeling of impending doom or of losing control. Fear of death. Symptoms reach a peak within 10 minutes. And last for roughly 30 minutes. These symptoms can be extremely frightening and distressing for the person. But panic attacks themselves are not physically dangerous. If panic attacks happen frequently and repeatedly, it is called panic disorder. Panic attacks looks like false alarms or fear of fear. Inappropriate fear reactions and catastrophic misinterpretation of harmless body sensations. People with panic attacks often report a fear of dying or heart attack. These feelings may provoke a strong urge to escape or flee the place where the attack began. It is considered that panic attack symptoms are caused by sympathetic activity of nervous system. Normally, such system is activated when danger is real, but during panic attack it happens in less harmless situations. Exact mechanism of panic attack is not known but many studies indicates it correlated with neurotransmitter imbalance in the brain. For example, increased availability of neurotransmitter serotonin decreases panic attack symptoms. Also, some antipsychotic medications that increases dopamine production have been proven to treat anxiety and panic attack. Panic attack more common among women than men. And first, it can occur during the teen or early adult years. Diagnosis is based on symptoms. Treatment, cognitive behavioral therapy has the most complete and longest duration of effect. And second, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. They can be used in combination. Treatment include breathing exercises, because it helps parasympathetic system activation which can suppress sympathetic activity. Simplest breathing exercise is 5 to 5 exercise, which means 5 seconds deep and slow inhalation, and hold the breath for 2 seconds. Then slowly exhale, over 5 seconds. Repeat this cycle twice and then breathe normally for 5 cycles. Aerobic exercise have positive effect against panic anxiety. Reducing caffeine can also improve condition. Cognitive behavioral therapy includes The first part of therapy is largely informational. Many people are greatly helped by simply understanding exactly what panic disorder is and how many others suffer from it. Mechanism of panic attack and hormonal state Identification of bad thoughts and replacing them good ones. Then exposure therapy which includes repeated and prolonged confrontation with feared situations and body sensations, helps weaken anxiety responses to these external and internal stimuli and reinforce realistic ways of viewing panic symptoms. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors are the drug of choice, but if they are not suitable or no improvement is seen after a 12-week course, amipramine or clomipramine should be considered. Roughly one-third are treatment-resistant. These people continue to have panic attacks and various other panic disorder symptoms after receiving treatment. In Europe, 
About 3% of the population has a panic attack in a given year while in the United States they affect about 11%.